So the goal for this video is to explain what a circuit is and how they work. And then in the next video, we'll show you how to apply what we learned here and build a project for ourselves. So let's first tell you guys its definition. A circuit is a path through which electrical current can flow. If you've done some other projects with us, we've talked about some other forms of energy before, like thermal, kinetic, and potential energy. But here, we're focusing on electrical energy. And we want you to think about that current word that we just mentioned, which comes from electrical energy, sort of like water flowing through a steel pipe. Here's a couple examples so you can see what we mean when we say circuits. And although current is actually pretty hard to see, it's what travels through those big electrical wires on the side of the road. And also what travels through our chargers from the wall when we plug in our phone. I know some of those circuits can look a little bit complex and intimidating, but no worries. Those are designed by professional electrical engineers to do really specific tasks. Together, we're going to be building a fairly simple circuit. One thing you can count on for just about every single circuit is they all rely on a power source to help make them function. In our case, we're going to be using a battery. Have you ever noticed the positive and negative ends on a battery? Well, those are there for a reason. Out of that negative end flows electrons, which also have a negative charge, into the copper wires that we connect in a circuit. And as long as it is a closed loop, electrons will travel through all the components of the circuit and the battery will continue to be able to provide that power. And those electrons always take what's called the path of least resistance. Just like if we're in the car on the freeway, we naturally want to go in the lane with less traffic and no cars so we can go faster, right? And while we're on this topic, friends, current actually has favorite materials to travel through. Items like different types of metals and even the human body, which electricity flow through, are called conductors. But materials like plastic, glass, dry air, and styrofoam, current doesn't flow through, and we call those insulators. This instrument is telling us there is zero current flowing through this circuit while that metal hammer is up. That's because the electrons are being wasted away into the air, but as soon as it's dropped, the circuit is complete and the electrons can travel through that constant metal wire. A popular component in lots of circuits, including the one that we'll be building here, is a light. And how it works is the electrical energy runs through some of the light and at the very top is converted into heat energy, which allows it to glow nice and bright. Look into your light once we build our project and you'll see what we mean. So we briefly mentioned that path of least resistance and that's the part where engineers come in. And sometimes they send the current of electrons in multiple directions at the same time to do different tasks. And thinking back to our water analogy, it's just like when a steel pipe splits off in two directions to bring water to two different places. Thanks a ton for your time, friends. In this next video, we will be showing you some of the materials and processes that you're going to be using to see this stuff with your own eyes.